Understanding aperture in photography, aperture is one of the most essential elements of exposure in photography, playing a critical role in controlling how much light enters the camera and affecting the depth of field in an image. Along with shutter speed and ISO, aperture is a key component of the exposure triangle, which governs the final exposure and overall look of your photos. Here's an in-depth look at what aperture is, how it works, and how you can use it creatively. What is aperture? Aperture refers to the opening in a camera lens that allows light to pass through to the camera sensor or film. The size of this opening is measured in f-stops, for example, f1.4, f2.8, f5.6, f22, with each f-stop representing a different size of the opening. Wide aperture small f number, like f1.4 or f2.8, the lens opening is large, allowing more light to pass through to the sensor. This is ideal for low light situations or when you want to create a shallow depth of field. Narrow aperture large f number, like f16 or f22, the lens opening is smaller, letting in less light. This is often used in bright conditions or when you want to achieve a deep depth of field, keeping everything in focus, how aperture affects exposure. The primary role of aperture is to control the amount of light that hits the camera sensor, affecting the exposure of your image. Aperture works in conjunction with shutter speed and ISO to determine how bright or dark your image will be. Wide apertures lower F numbers, like F, 1.4 or f 2.8 allow more light to reach the sensor making them perfect for shooting in low light conditions like indoors or at night these settings result in a bright exposure assuming the other factors shutter speed and iso are balanced accordingly narrow apertures higher f numbers like f 16 or f 22 allow less light to pass through which can result in a darker exposure especially in dim lighting in this case, you might need to compensate by using a slower shutter speed or increasing the ISO to maintain proper exposure, aperture, and depth of field. In addition to controlling light, aperture significantly impacts the depth of field DOF, which is the zone of the image that appears in focus. Shallow depth of field, when using a wide aperture low F number like F1.4 or F2.8, only a small part of the image is in focus with the background and foreground becoming blurred. This is often used in portrait photography, where you want to isolate the subject from the background, creating a beautiful bokeh effect the quality of 